before this week even began, Mary Kelly Mulcahy had accomplished more than most amateurs her age. In fact, playing in the Dana Open wasn't even on her goal list, yet she's made a pretty easy exception as her journey has now led her into an LPGA debut. Well done. Just really enjoy it. Look around, soak it all in, smile and have fun. A simple approach for a rising local talent. It's going to be really cool playing close to home. I know I'll have a lot of support here. No matter who you are, where you come from, what school you play for, how old you are, whatever, you can really do anything you want. On Monday, Mary Kelly Mulcahy qualified for the 40th annual LPGA Dana Open, following a clutch birdie on the first playoff hole. Yet, even with the stakes of a professional tournament in sight, she felt no nerves. Not really, no, which I don't really know why. History of self-composure and determination date back to her youth, when she first found golf alongside her sisters. I really fell in love with it when they were 10. Um, they've worked really hard, so when I look at this, I see how hard they've, she's worked um, to kind of prepare for something like this, and it's an incredible opportunity for her. Growing up in Lima, Mulcahy helped lead her high school to three straight state championships. Success that quickly carried over into the University of Finley. Obviously, it's great for the school, for the golf program, um, you know, and everything that she's done is because of her hard work and dedication. Named the NCAA Division II National Player of the Year this past season as a junior, momentum has swung to new heights. This summer's been incredible. You know, she's just taken another jump in her skill, and and uh, the opportunity for the Palmer Cup was was amazing. You know, and then she qualified for the USAM, which is in a couple of weeks. Just the way she's striking the ball now compared to even a couple months ago um, is something that's really stuck out to me. The pins have aligned for a memorable week of golf. And although Mulcahy may have not predicted to be here, she remains eager to play against the best in the world. When you are succeeding, I mean, it just makes you want to work harder. So I'm really lucky. Mulcahy will tee off on hole number 10 at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. She'll then follow that up with a 2 p.m. tee time on the first tee box.